Hi guys, this is Silas here and in today's video I am going to share with you my first attempt with Powering Medium. I wanted to try this for quite a long time and it was as much fun as I anticipated. But as always when you are trying new medium I made some mistakes, so I hope that this video will be useful for those who want to try also this technique to avoid some of those mistakes. With the actual pouring medium I also have bought these plastic bottles for easier application. First step was to mix a medium with paint in those bottles. I didn't buy Liquitex paints or inks which should be used with this medium. I just worked with my PBO acrylics as always and it worked just fine. But when I was mixing the paint, I made a mistake because I add too many paint into the mix. Uh, my paints are quite heavy and very pigmented, so it is enough to add just really tiny tiny bit of paint into a lot of medium. I made my first mix way too thick because of so much paint and it didn't move as much as I expected. Uh, so I had to later add even more medium into my mix and made it thinner. You can see here that the mixture is so thick that it doesn't want to move it at all or it is moving uh, just very slowly. I even had to use my plastic spoon to help my colors blend more together. Here I am adding more medium and paint mixture. This is definitely not drying as fast as regular acrylic, so you can add as much colors and layers as you want to, until you are happy with the result. You can see now that it is moving a little bit better, that's because when I am adding more mixture, I have already thinned it down with more pouring medium. By the way, a list of all supplies uh, used in this video will be listed in the description below the video. And here I am making little lines with a uh, short wire. When you are done and happy with the result, let it dry. It took overnight to dry to the touch and it is super important to let it dry completely flat. But still during the drying process it would be changing and moving little bit so the final result may be a little different. That's it for today, don't forget to check close up photos in the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this video will be useful for you and if you like it please give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would also love to hear any of your comments or questions. Thank you and see you next time, bye!